Okay, everybody. Today, I'm gonna be showing you every single possible oil leak on a BMW M52. All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna start at the top of the engine and we're gonna move down. So at the very top, you have your oil cap. Uh, the oil cap has a little um, rubber sealant thing that's built into the cap. Sometimes that can leak and it'll leak down into um, this area. It normally sweats, really e easy, cheap to replace. You should check that out. Next thing is the Valvetronic motor. This is uh, this a big gasket that goes in here and it pushes the Valvetronic motor against this plate. Uh, what you'll see is over time the rubber becomes really hard and it doesn't seal as well you can try to tighten it down but normally you'll get some oil leaking down here into the uh in between the spark plug holes so that's how you know when that that one is leaking uh next thing as we move further down is your valve cover gasket and i'm going to take this valve cover off it's not attached to anything your valve cover gasket is in two pieces as you can see um, the middle piece here that orange one and the outer part so normally because this engine is tilted at an angle it'll leak normally on the left side and normally it probably starts leaking in the back because these bolts do rattle loose and eventually yeah the gasket starts leaking i have the magnesium valve cover um, and that comes yeah in two parts uh what you need to watch out for is sometimes this valve this gasket will get pinched if it's not on the dowels correctly or back here sometimes it can shift a bit and you'll pinch the gasket and of course it will leak it won't seal properly um if you have the black top m52 uh, it has a rubber gasket and the same thing applies normally at the back as you're shifting it around you can bend the gasket a bit and it doesn't seal properly so you have to watch out for that okay moving on down let's start on the left side you have these two little uh vanos um, you have these two little Vanos uh, filters. They filter out any debris from going into the Vanos system. Maybe those can leak. It's just a little tiny washer. Um, but uh, I've never had those leak before. And moving on to this, this is your timing chain tensioner. And it is pressurized. The oil comes up through the oil pump into here and pushes against the spring. And I had this leaking because I forgot to put... Um, metal washer that goes in between here and it was slowly leaking down here onto the AC unit and stuff like that and then leaking onto the steering rack as you can see there can I make this squish it's just a little spring loaded um, piston and the oil pressure goes in there and pushes against the piston which keeps your chain nice and tight so if that's leaking, maybe that can't come loose or you forgot your washer like I did when I installed this. So while this isn't an oil leak, you can have a coolant leak. There's a coolant pipe that goes here and goes down to the water pump. Um, if your oil cooler, which normally goes right here, is leaking oil, you could get some milkshake coming down here if this gasket is bad. But that's only if you have coolant mixing with water. So let's go to the front now of the engine. These are your Vanos, Vanos solenoids. And I had both my Vanos solenoids leaking. And what the, you'll get a bit of oil coming down the front, just like you see here. But also you'll get oil dripping down the wires that connect the Vanos solenoid um, right here. And it'll leak down onto your uh, AC unit. So that's something to be aware of. I thought there was a leak on this side, but really it was just the vano solenoids. It doesn't necessarily leak straight down the front of the block all the time. So check your vano solenoids if you're losing oil. Now moving around to the right side of the block, there is your oil cooler that sits right here. It has your little oil filter on it. And these gaskets kind of has a double gasket on the inside. Let me remove this. And it allows oil to be pumped through. I'm, get, I'm assuming these are the oil. Yes. The water gets pumped through here. And the oil gets pumped through the same thing. And then you cool your oil that way. 
and normally these go bad and you end up getting a milkshake and you end up getting milkshake in your engine and you think your head gasket's bad or something like that. So you first always check this. This commonly goes bad. Um, don't forget to flush out your engine when that happens. But this will leak down the side of the block here onto your uh, vacuum pump or on the right side of the block. Um, so if you don't know where your oil's coming from, check that. Now on the right side of the block, there isn't really much here uh, that can necessarily leak. Um, but underneath the intake here, you'll have your CCV. If you have an older magnesium uh, valve cover, you'll have your CCV here and it has a hose going from the back of the engine to the CCV and then down here to where the lower CCV hose is. And this can go bad. It does go bad all the time. I had mine go bad on me probably once every year. So if you have a leak going down onto your oil pan, that's one area that you should check. Now there is a tiny little sensor here. I forgot what this is for. I have to look it up. That could leak, but I highly doubt it. It's not under any load or pressure or anything like that. So then we get to the back of the block. I don't think there's anything here at the back of the block that can leak, in my opinion, at the top end anyway. So moving on down, we have our, well, yeah, well, let's do this first. Of course, the oil pan gasket. Oil pan gasket is notoriously known for leaking uh, since the engine is tilted at an angle, it normally leaks on the right side. But um, sometimes these bolts, these are aluminum bolts, they can shake loose. I mean, maybe that's why they put this little washer on there to make sure that it's, it's in there tight and it doesn't jiggle out. But what ended up happening with my oil pan gasket is somebody did it and then the bolts wiggled loose and it started leaking at the back here. So... Yeah, I had to tighten it back up, Loctite it, all that stuff. So oil pan gasket is the next biggest one. Now, you can confuse the oil pan gasket with a rear main seal. Rear main seal is right there, here. It could be the rear main seal or the oil pan gasket. You'll have to take a look. Sometimes it looks like it's one or the other um, and it's hard to tell. But um, yeah, rear main seal, not a common failure in my opinion. And of course, the front main seal here behind the crank pulley. Again, in my opinion, not a common failure. I have not seen those uh, fail so much. Okay, last but not least is this sensor, the oil um, level sensor. It's like a digital oil dipstick. It does have a little gasket that goes, rubber gasket that goes in here. Uh, I haven't seen one fail yet and I've I've had two different engines but um, I guess it could fail also you could have some oil leaking from your oil drain bolt if it's not attached correctly well that's pretty much all the main oil leaks that you can get on an N52 if I missed one please let me know down in the comments and I hope this is helpful to keep your guys's engines running good and not leaking oil because the oil dipstick is not so precise. It is challenging to get an uh, accurate oil level and sometimes you can have a pretty bad oil leak that can run the engine dry and you end up blowing up you know, normally piston six because it gets too hot there in the back. I've seen that a few times. Um, if this was helpful, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm actually getting ready to take this engine apart right now. We're gonna find out what happened to it uh, it was burning oil at one liter per 300 kilometers. So if you're interested in that, we're going to tear this apart and check the... Uh, there was some noise in the top end and we're going to check the piston rings to see if they're burning and also check the bearings, I guess, if they're still good. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shizzle. Ooh, those look bad. I don't have to be a car person to know that these look good and these four look bad. <laughs> Exactly. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.